Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'll be showing you how to export your videos from Premiere for YouTube. So to get started we're going to open up Premiere and here you can see I have a new document and I have one file loaded in over in my file section. It's some video of the MGM building that I took while I was in Los Angeles and I recently used it in an After Effects tutorial for motion tracking that third M that you see up there onto the building. So once you have your file in you can just take and drag it down into your timeline. And once you're done editing and doing visual effects and all kinds of other things to it that you can do in Premiere, um, and you're ready to actually export it, you're going to go up to File, then down to Export, and then go to Media. So that'll bring up this dialog box that's called Export Settings. So if you're trying to export something from Premiere for YouTube, there's a couple of settings that you can use within Premiere that are going to be very helpful. So over here in your export settings, this is where most of the things that you're going to need to change are going to be. So you can see that there's this format box right here. So you can drag this down. You can see all of the formats that Premiere supports that you can actually export in. So you have your AVI, you have um, JPEG sequences, you have your animated GIF, all kinds of things. You can save it as QuickTime. But what we're looking for is the H.264. So we're going to go to that one right there. And so once you have that, it's going to load in all the other options for the presets. So each one of those options has its own specific presets. And what we're looking for in the preset is to go down and you can see that it actually has a YouTube option right in Premiere. So we're looking for the YouTube widescreen HD. Now you can see we also have the SD, which that's basically um, the 4x3 format for YouTube, the old format that it had before it supported widescreen. And then you have the widescreen SD, which is going to be a smaller file size, but you should probably just go for the HD. So we're going to click on that. And so that'll load everything right here. So once you export it now, it will keep the HD settings on YouTube. I've exported stuff with this and uploaded it before, and I have no problem of getting the HD in YouTube. Um, I've only done 1280 by 720, but I would assume that if you use 1080, um, then it would also give you that option on YouTube. So with this built into Premiere, it makes it pretty easy to export for YouTube. So also with your options, you want to make sure that you have export video on and export audio so that you don't have, um, you're not missing one or the other. And also you can take and do some things over here. You can take and crop your uh, footage down by moving these little triangles in and some other things like that where you can actually use the crop tool up here. Um, as for the other options that you might see over here, I would just leave those alone and leave them on their defaults because uh, that works with the preset pretty well. So um, I would just leave those alone. So now once you're actually ready to export, you have two options. You can either click export right here and it says that it will export immediately with the current settings. And so what that means is basically you will just click export and you'll be able to save it somewhere on your desktop or elsewhere uh, right away. Now, if you don't want to do it right away, you can click this Q button and it'll open up the media encoder and basically what that's going to do um, is it's going to take and put it into the media encoder and then basically if you have more than one video that you want to export you can just load them into this media encoder and then you'll just click start queue and it'll run through all of the video files so if you have more than one video that you're trying to export instead of exporting one and then waiting and then exporting the next one and waiting and so on and so forth um, you can just take and export them all to the media encoder and then just start the queue before you go to bed or something and then your 20 videos that you have to export will be all done by the time you wake up. So it just makes for batch exporting um, of your files. So this is basically it. Um, if you click start queue you're going to be good to go and if you click to export on the previous screen you're going to be good to go for your videos on YouTube. So I hope you guys learned something in this tutorial. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. Check back next week for a new video tutorial. Thanks for watching.